Located in Thika Town, Kenya Institute of Soft Engineering and Professional Studies is a certified tertiary institution. The school offers artisan, certificates, diploma and advanced diploma levels to students all over the country. My name is Alex Lutonga, a student at Kenya Institute of Soft Engineering and Professional Studies. Here at Kisi, I'm pursuing journalism and mass communication. The relationship between the students and the teachers here is very good and I would recommend any student out there who wants to, to pursue either journalism and mass communication, ICT or any other course to come at Kise College. Here we have able lecturers who are equipping us with skills so that we can be able to perform best at the field. Targeting to nurture, equip and develop technical and professional skills, Kenya Institute of Software Engineering and Professional Studies has been running for 10 years. My name is Elizabeth Mudoni Gichura, a journalism and mass communication lecturer at Kenya Institute of Soft Engineering and Professional Studies. At KISE, we believe equipping our students with the technical and professional skills needed out there is what will really, really help them. So that is why when you come to Kenya Institute of Soft Engineering and Professional Studies to study journalism, we'll make sure we give you the best because that is what we are made I'm Mr. Halfin Motueri, a lecturer at Kenya Institute of Software Engineering, uh, an amazing and a grown school whereby the relationship of teacher to student is just wow and amazing. Uh, we equip our students with knowledge, skills, and make sure that uh, they do well and perform in their practicals. In each and everything that they do, we keep company and also it equips them well in the outside life and how to cope with life in each and everything. Students have since graduated from the institution. I'm John Kenyanjui, a trainer at Kenya Institute of Software Engineering and Professional Studies. I am in the Department of Software Engineering. Over the last 10 years, we have had over 5,000 students graduating. Uh, we equip them with the necessary skills to maneuver the job market in the development area. So we've had students working as enterprise developers, database administrators, We've had um, web application developers, Android developers. My name is Benjamin Maundu. I'm a lecturer at uh, Kenya Institute of Software Engineering and Professional Studies. Um, I teach uh, film production. Here at KISE, we offer film production at diploma and certificate levels. Anyone who is interested out there to join us, you are welcome. As long as you are done with your Form 4, certificate. Uh, we what entails in uh, what is entailed in film production include uh, script writing, uh, shooting, video editing, sound production and many more. Uh, in addition we even have uh, we have also graphics which will accompany your film production course. The school values co-curriculum activities such as games and clubs. My name is Angelo. I'm a lecturer in ICT uh, at Kenya Institute of uh, Software Engineering. And what I can say about uh, co-curricular activities is it's that it helps students um, uh, focus on their studies because uh, they are able to, to learn without the attention in their muscles. And, um, it distracts the students from uh, such parties or such things and uh, maybe we engage in uh, outdoors, indoors games and outdoor games. So in indoors we got uh, Scrabble, we got chess, we got uh, table tennis uh, and uh, that and that and uh, it helps students. Uh, for example, a game like chess, it uh, measures the intellectual ability of students and uh, Maybe table tennis uh, prepares them uh, if they, they decide to go out there and play their games. Uh, so in outdoors, uh, there's football, uh, basketball, there's rugby. Yeah. So in football, uh, it helps them relieve their muscles. Maybe practice uh, if they wanna maximize on their career as a footballer, and uh, maybe rugby or even basketball. The mode of learning is done on full time part-time 
and long distance basis. My top priority is to make sure that uh, the promises that I have, we have given to the parents as an institution and also to the students, we honor that promise. That is to give the best and to always be there for the students and to make sure that they get what they do to give.